With the East Rail Line shot into Central Link extension opening on the 15th, the East Rail Line's 12 car trains have been gradually replaced with the newer 9 car Hyundai Rotem R stock trains. The extension, which will form Hong Kong's fourth railway harbour crossing, will connect the East Rail Line to Admiralty and a new station at the Exhibition Centre. Because the new extension to Admiralty cannot accommodate 12 car trains due to space constraints, the 12 car Metro Camel Midlife Refurbishment or MLR trains are being replaced with 9 car trains. The Metro Camel trains first came into service when the Kowloon Canton Railway was first electrified and double tracked to transition into a suburban railway in 1982. When service first started, the trains were configured in 3 car sets, however this was later increased to 6, 9 and then finally 12 cars as ridership increased along the railway with the construction of the new towns in the new territories. The trains underwent major refurbishment to extend their lifespan between 1996 and 1999, giving them the midlife refurbishment name. They now had 5 doors per car instead of 3, new TV screens inside the cars, and most transfer seating was replaced with longitudinal seating. Before they were refurbished, the trains featured yellow-colored front cars, giving them the name Yellow Heads. All train sets but one was refurbished. The only remaining yellowhead unit is the E44 which is stored in the Ho Tung Lao depot. After refurbishment, the trains had their lifespan extended to 40 years, which means that in 2022, they had reached the end of their targeted lifespan. The MLR train has many defining and unique features which have been lost now that the entire fleet is replaced with R stock trains. The MLR train was the last remaining rolling stock on the network to have transverse seating, which are seats that are facing towards or away from the direction of travel of the train. It was also the last remaining rolling stock where the network map is a static sticker rather than a dynamic diagram with LED lights or LCD screens. The MLR was also the only train that did not feature multi-purpose spaces for wheelchair users in every car. These trains have left a lasting legacy, being the first electric trains that ran on Hong Kong's oldest railway. They had also been the first metro commuter trains to regularly reach speeds of 120 km an hour in normal service. As great as these new R stock trains are, the old trains will be dearly missed as they are the last of their kind, heralding to bygone days without television screens or information display systems. With their rattling gangways and signature KCR red and blue livery, the old trains will always be memorable and nostalgic despite their shortcomings.